Okay, the following is just a short version of the exercises I teach at the Antelope Valley Senior Center. So it's just a uh, maybe a, a 10 or 15 minute example. We'll start with the movement that I like the most, seems to work the best for me, is just arms up to the shoulders and then down. Try and keep a flowing motion in all of the exercises as if you're standing in water uh, on a beach, just have your hands in the sand. Just keep it a slow, soft, flowing motion. If you can stand up on your toes as you inhale and exhale, that's even better. do these arm movements right before you go to sleep. If you have any trouble sleeping, I've heard from many of the students that this helps tremendously. Up and then down and back to the basic posture. The basic posture is feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, torso straight up and down, and try and imagine your head is being pulled up as a puppet. Don't put your shoulders back, but keep your shoulders straight and your hands down. This is in between each one of the movements. Take a couple of deep, slow breaths. Next, we'll gather some energy. Just start with the hands up, come down, grab the energy from the earth, and bring it up. Again, try and keep a slow, flowing motion. One movement moves into the next movement. Again, a deep breath. Deep breath. And exhale. You're bringing the energy of the earth into your body. And exhaling the stress and anxiety. back to the basic motion, basic posture. Now the next two exercises are very good for balance and for the knees and hips. On this one, you'll bend down a little further, put your hands on your knees, and just go in a circular motion. Always be easy on yourself. Don't go past your comfort zone. If you can really get some movement in there, good, but don't hurt yourself. Just go clockwise. And then go counterclockwise. Remember, if it gets too much, stop at any time and rest. Now back to the basic posture. This time we'll put hands on the hips and as if you have a hula hoop, just in a circular motion with the hips. Again, if you have more movement, then really move. If you don't, that's okay. You can do this sitting down. Just do it gently, very easy. After you've done a few clockwise, then go counterclockwise. a little more awkward for me. And then back to the basic posture. This is a form of standing meditation. And 
again, it, it's very helpful in getting to have a good night's rest. A few deep breaths and some of the arm movements. And one last movement. Turn sideways. This foot should be 45 degree angle. This foot should be straight out, just a little bit more than shoulder width. And then sink down slightly. And then back, so that this foot is straight, this one is bent. We're going to do the same. We're going to do a shifting of weight to the front and back. To the front and back. And as we do it, we're going to take the hands, push out, and pull in. Push out and pull in. Again, slow, flowing motion. When you push out your exhale, and you pull in your inhale. So it's like turn to the other side. One leg is on a 45 degree angle and bent, the other leg is straight. back to the basic position. We'll end this short version with, again, my favorite. It's just the arms up. It's so simple, yet it accomplishes so much. do this during the day. While you're at the computer, stop. Take a few breaths. Three or four hand movements. Along with the deep breath. Back to the basic posture. Now, I don't speak Chinese, so I think I'll just end this with a yoga. Namaste. Thank you.